have a go at two questions where we apply Newman's analysis and also these two terms of angles of elevation and depression into um, we practice put into practice and get some uh, use it. So let's have a go at this question. The angle of uh, at the angle of elevation from of the top of a tower from a point on the ground thirty meters away from the base of the tower is twenty eight degrees. Find the height of the tower to the nearest meter. Okay, so let's use Newman's analysis. We've read the question. The second part is to underline the keywords or highlight the keywords. So here I'm going to underline a few keywords. First thing is we've got an angle of elevation we're working with. So someone is looking up towards the top of this tower. The second thing I'm going to highlight is 30 meters away. This person is 30 meters away from the tower and they're looking up at the tower. And the third piece of information is the angle of elevation is 28 degrees. So when they're looking up, the angle that they're looking up at is at 28 degrees. Okay. So we're going to use those three important pieces of information in my diagram. So in my question. So actually let's draw a diagram to put all this information into. So what am I going to do? Let's go like this. I'm going to first draw a tower. And so we're going to draw a tower here. And there we go. So we have a tower. We can put uh, we can put something on the tower. We can make it like let's make a tower that looks like this. Boom. And it has a little peak. And it kind of there we go. I have a funky looking tower that also looks like a spear for some reason. And we have a person who is, the second piece of information is that the third, we have a person who is 30 meters away. So I'm going to go 30 meters away from the bottom of the tower. So this is 30 meters and they're going to be looking, they're looking up at the tower. The top of the tower, let's make it to the top. Oh, okay. They're looking up at the top of the tower. And the third piece of information that we got is, was that this is 28 degrees. Now my diagram isn't quite to scale. That is okay. But I've got all my inf important information in this diagram. It's an angle of elevation. They're looking up at the tower. So here they're looking up at the tower, so going upwards. They are 30 meters away from the tower. And the angle of elevation is 28 degrees. So I've put all of my important information into this diagram. I've drawn it into this diagram. I've, I've read the question. I've underlined the keywords and drawn this diagram. And I've labeled the key point. The, have it, it's labeled. Okay, the second part of Newman's analysis is to figure out what is this question asking us to do. Now, if you ha let's have a look at the question. In the second sentence, we want to find the height of the tower to the nearest meter. That's what the question is asking us to do. We want to find the height. So I'm going to actually draw onto my diagram where the height is. Now, the height is just how tall the um, tower is. So I'm going to put a H for height on the tower. So I'm going to put H for the height on the tower. Okay, cool. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go to step three. What operations are we going to use to solve? Now at this point, what the steps that we've been doing so far with finding missing sides and, use, and finding missing angles is also going to be really important here. It's going to be really important here. So what we can do is we can start using doing those steps. So if you remember, when we're trying to find a missing side or missing angle, we always start off with the same four steps. So label the sides of the triangle and identify the ratio. So here I'm going to put in my right angle triangle. Now there's a right angle there at the bottom. When you meet a bait, when you meet a vertical object, there's always going to be a right angle at the bottom right there or where the vertical thing meets the ground. Now, where do we start when we label? We go to the hypotenuse. So I go across this side over here, how long it is from the eye to the top of the tower. That is your hypotenuse H big H. Now there's no value for the hypotenuse. So I'm not going to be using the hypotenuse in this question. Okay, so that was the first side. The second side is I go to the opposite side. So I've got that 28 degrees. I go opposite. And so that is my H. My missing side H is my opposite side. And the final thing is to find the adjacent side, which is just the one that's left over. So this 30 meters is my adjacent side. So which two sides do I have? I have O and A. So in this question, I'm going to be using tan. So for part three, when I'm trying to find the missing side, I'm going to be using the tan ratio. Now, let's have a think. I'm trying to find a height. Is a height a length or a side or is it an angle? Well, if you have a look at the diagram, the angle is already given to me. So I don't actually look, need to look for a missing angle. It's actually a length. The H is a height. It is a length. 
So if because it's a length or side, I'm going to be using my regular trick. So here I'm going to be using a regular tan and not inverse tan. Okay. So back to our regular steps that we've been using so far. After we've identified what trig ratio we're going to use, so this question we have O and A, which is tan, we write the trig equation. So let's write a trig equation. So tan, what do I put into tan? Well, tan is just regular trig, so I'm going to put in the angle. So here, what is the angle? It's 28 degrees, which is a bottom right thing here. So tan 28 is equal to, if you remember from the acronym, TOA, O over A. So I'm going to put the opposite side over the adjacent side. So here, I'm going to put the opposite side, H at the top, over the adjacent side, 30 at the bottom. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to rearrange this to solve for my missing side. My missing side is H, so I'm going to move it to the left. And what do I need to do? The 30 is at the bottom, so I multiply it to the other side to solve for this. So I end up getting 30 times 10, 28 degrees. I'll put my brackets around that. Okay, cool. So let's have let's put this in my calculator. I can put this in my calculator. So I go thirty times ten twenty eight. So I get fifteen point nine five one. So I get fifteen point nine five one meters. Now let's have a look at go back to our question. We need to check what is the question asking us to do. We want to find the height. So we found the height to the nearest meter. So I need to round this to the nearest meter. I go to the nearest whole number. So 15, one, the, after the five, I look at the next number, nine, nine means I round up. So I add one to the previous number. So that's 16 meters to the nearest meter. Okay. There we go. Now let's check. Okay. Does this seem reasonable? Now, if I drew this diagram a little bit more accurately, 28 degrees is actually a very small value. It's not very high. So if I drew this diagram properly, what it would look like is something more like this. And so I'd have 30 here, I'd 16 here, I have 28 degrees. Is this diagram realistic? Yeah, I think this is quite realistic. The height isn't is almost halfway, the half of the height, half of the value of 30 degree, 30 meters. So 16 meters is seems like a legitimate answer. I'm okay with having 16 meters. So let's leave it there. So the height of the tower is 16 meters for this first example. Okay. So this is how we apply Newman's analysis and also the steps that we've been using over the last couple of lessons to help us solve and find uh, solve problems that involve trigonometry.